Uh, His Excellency, Mr. M. D. Sharir Alam, Honorable State Minister for Foreign Affairs, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Dr. Salim Rayhan, Executive Director, Sanim, Moderator of today's session, distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. It is an honor for me to once again participate in the second Bay of Bengal Economic Dialogue on the theme, Building Resilient Beamstack. I wish to express my sincere thanks to the organizers for inviting me to this inaugural session. As we all know, COVID-19 pandemic in the last two years, and even now, is continuing to pose as a daunting threat to our daily lives and lives of the people around the world. Being resilient and being responsive to the challenges of COVID-19 has now become a necessity. Therefore, the theme chosen for today's dialogue is of great relevance. And the topics selected for the dialogue, such as connectivity, trade and investment, and people-to-people -people contact are some of the most pertinent areas of BIMSTEC cooperation. Distinguished panelists, since the last two years, the unprecedented scale and magnitude of COVID-19 pandemic has been wreaking havoc on physical, mental, and socio-economic lives of our people in the region. In responding to this pandemic, the governments of BIMSTEC member states have taken extensive measures and supported each other, including sharing of vaccines. The 17th BIMSTEC ministerial meeting held in April last year resolved to mobilize all relevant sectors and subsectors of BIMSTEC cooperation to strengthen economic and physical connectivity. The ministers also stressed the need to step up efforts to enhance intra-regional trade and investment to boost economic recovery in the aftermath of COVID-19 and called upon the member states to particularly prioritize and accelerate the work on the agreement on trading goods. The experience of COVID-19 pandemic also compelled all of us to shift towards digital technology and digital economy. And in this aspect, BIMSTEC expedited the processes to establish BIMSTEC technology transfer facility. And today, we are happy that the Memorandum of Association of BIMSTEC Technology Transfer Facility is now ready and will be signed at the upcoming fifth BIMSTEC Summit in March this year. Public health in the region has now been seen as a prime sector of BIMSTEC cooperation, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic. Efforts are being renewed to strengthen public health system in the region. The member states led by Sri Lanka have begun forming institutions such as BIMSTEC Health Expert Group, who will also coordinate and develop health action plans for the BIMSTEC region. Agriculture and food security are also further emphasized in the post-COVID-19 cooperation. BIMSTEC Secretary will be very soon signing MOU with International Food Policy and Research Institute to support BIMSTEC agriculture cooperation. Tourism and hospitality industry, as we all know, is the hardest hit sector by COVID-19 pandemic. In this regard, we hope that the BIMSTEC 2030 tourism strategy, which is about to be completed, will help the BIMSTEC member states and its tour operators to boost tourism in the region. In short, these are some of the activities undertaken under BIMSTEC framework in responding to COVID-19 pandemic. However, we all know that this is not enough and there are a lot more things that we need to do. Distinguished panelists, ladies and gentlemen, 
the economic dimension of cooperation has been one of the core areas of BIMSTEC since its establishment. The success of other regional organizations such as European Union and ASEAN are often measured by the role they have played in promoting intra-regional trade and investment. However, our trade in the BIMSTEC region, despite having 1.6 billion people and a combined GDP of about 3 trillion US dollars, our intra-regional trade still remains at a small 7%. Therefore, we need to create economic activities and enhance intra-regional trade and investment. BIMSTEC, although has signed a free trade area framework agreement, it is still under negotiation in finalizing its constituent agreements. The BIMSTEC member states, despite being slow, is however determined to conclude the BIMSTEC free trade area as this will comprise the first crucial step towards economic integration of the region. Likewise, connectivity is an essential tool to promote regional integration and thus unlock the potential of socio-economic development in the region. In this regard, the BIMSTEC Master Plan for Transport Connectivity, which will be adopted at the upcoming summit, would be a vital step to move ahead. With this, I would like to conclude by once more thanking the organizers for giving me this platform. And I would also like to extend my appreciation for hosting this web conference and bringing together renowned scholars and think tank members of this region. Thank you.